me, I mean, oh, you look miserable there. Is that the performance that's, that's done you in there today? Was you disappointed with anything more than anything else there? Because overall, it was pretty bad, wasn't it? I mean, like, we came into this game with Ericsson at, Rashford not being fit to play, Martial at injured. And in the end, those were the players that we needed in this game. And like, it just goes to the quality, that we don't have the quality in our team to bring in players that you look at City or Chelsea, yeah, or even Arsenal, they can bring in players and still get the job done. But you look at this team, like Fred, man, Adam, don't get me started on him. Like, I can't believe, man, and this it has to go to the manager now. And why he kept Fred on? Like, I mean, the signs are there from the first half, Fred. Like, how is this guy a professional footballer, man? Like, he can't control a football, man. Like, the first half, he was giving the ball away, stopping with it. Ten Hag, like, you can say that, oh, we haven't got the quality. But listen, Zidane, Iqbal, Kobe, both on the bench, they'll do a better job than him, man. They can't do any worse than Fred. And he's had his chances. Like, it's got to be the end for Fred now, man. I really don't see a like, place in this team for him. Every year, new manager, oh, can we get the best out of Fred? No, it's not going to happen, man. He's simply not good enough. And like, that miss for Ra with Rashford's good, it's him, I can't believe it, man. Like, the whole stadium like, literally went speechless for a minute or so. Like, it was unbelievable, man. But yeah, it goes down to the quality that we just don't have it, man. Do you feel like Fred was only in there, though, because McTominay was out, Ericsson was out? Do you feel like he is fourth choice in there, fifth choice even? And just goes to show that Ten Hag's system only works when he's got them players in that are playing week in, week out. His first team players. Fred doesn't look first team, but when he comes in, he has to do the basics better. And today, I think. He didn't get any of that right either. I hear that Adam, but like, yeah, he started the, all right, I'll, I'll give it to Ten Hag, like, there was not much he could do, like, Fred had to start, who does he bring in? You don't want to bring Zidane, Iqbal in, or Kobe straight away. But from that first half, like, could they possibly have done any much worse than Fred? I don't think they could have, because they would have come on, the fans would have been under them, like, they would have backed him. But listen, like, in the end, we kept Fred on, and Ten Hag has to take criticism over that man, because in the end, it was Fred that cost us that game. Like, did we do enough to win that game? No, we didn't. But could have we got a result? Yes, we could have if Fred was on the pitch. Like, it's a fact, man. Yeah, that's it. I mean, defensively, we look solid enough there. But, I mean, when it comes down to it, mate, that forward line, as much as we want to slag Fred off for his performance, the forwards have to do more, mate, don't they? I'm not seeing wingers take players on. I'm not seeing crosses in the box. I'm not seeing anticipating anticipation from the forwards. It just all in all doesn't seem to be working up top. Do you feel like every little foul, man? Do you feel like Martial being injured has messed up the Ten Hag system? Because I think if he's fit, he plays him every game, and he doesn't know which way to go if Martial isn't fit. Because Rashford's not working in the middle. He works better on the left. Then Ronaldo comes off, and Rashford goes back in the middle. It's a bit confusing. I mean, the main talking point today will be that why why did Ten Hag take Ronaldo off and bring Rashford on? But like. Let's be honest, man. Ronaldo, he didn't do enough. But in the like, Rashford is not a nine, man. Like we've seen it many times. He played under Oli as a nine. It never worked out, man. Rashford's best position is on the left, and like, it's almost as if Ten Hag's forced to do that. Like, but Ronaldo, man, like, I don't know what it is with these players. Like in the first half, there was chances. Like a couple of times, I could have cut it back to Bruno. It was Sancho and Anthony that had chances to cut it back to other players. But it's almost as if they're trying to spoon feed Ronaldo, man. Like listen, we get like he's your idol and that, but. You've almost got to accommodate what's best for the team, man. Not try to get assist for Ronaldo, man. And in the end, like, I mean, in that first half, there was many chances where Bruno could have got a chance up underway, or even Casemiro. But every single time, Anthony and Sancho had the ball on the wing. It's always going to Ronaldo, man. I mean, looking forward to tough games now, the mate. Tottenham, then Chelsea. It's going to really test the metal and show exactly where we are, I think. Uh, from what you've seen so far today and games gone past over the last few weeks, do you feel like you've got enough to get anything from the Tottenham and Chelsea game? The signs are there, Adam. Like, of course, it was the result we wanted today, but the signs are still there. Like, at times, we did play good football, man. And there was chances we opened up new today. We opened up Newcastle even against Arsenal. We opened up them. Like, there's been times where we've seen what Ten Hag wants to do, and it's worked the plan. But like. I think, depending on those games, it's got to be on Ericsson, man. Like, if Ericsson comes back in this team, we've got a massive chance. Same for Martial. Because like, without Ericsson, there's no control in that midfield. I said it to Saeed before the game. He was like, do you think we're going to win this game? Like, how, what's your thoughts on the team? I was like, listen, with no Ericsson, I fear for the control of this midfield, man. And in the end, it was that, man. Like Casemiro, we know he's not good on the ball, but he's a destroyer, and he's probably one of the best in the world at that. But in the end, if you're going to have Casemiro, you've got to accommodate for him, man. You can't play Fred with Casemiro because he's careless with the ball 
I mean, there's times with, on today, Casemiro with the ball, look sloppy again, man. Against Everton, he did as well. But that's not Casemiro. He's not going to pick up the ball for you from the centre back and be comfortable on the ball, man. That's not Casemiro. But in the end, he's having to be forced to do that because we just don't have the op players in midfield right now. Uh, give me a man of the match before you go to me, mate. Adam, I'd be lying to you if I said I could give you a man of the match. But one person I do want to talk about is the referee today, man, Adam. Yeah. I mean, the Sancho, the Sancho foul in the box, clear penalty, man. I've seen like the replay as well. How was that not given a penalty? I mean, like, Newcastle, absolute time wasters, man. They really, really do play horrible football. Look, the first minute to the 90th minute, on the floor, all of them, all game. And in yeah. the end, they got what they wanted. Yeah, they came for the draw, mate, and that's what they got. I mean, move on, mate. At least we've got another game to try and get over it. We've got to be better against Spurs, but cheers for coming on and talking to us, mate. Thanks, Adam.